what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 4 seasons so in the last part wow if you missed it you need to go watch it because it was heartbreaking it was awful and i'm not even going to spoil it for you i might you know talk about it later but for right now you need to go watch it if you haven't catch up but today we are with stevie and we are going to be having her baby shower today the baby day um her arrival will be Sunday so it's currently Friday and I wanted to have like a little baby shower I, I was planning on making it a holiday but I, I couldn't plan a holiday on the exact day so we're just gonna have like a little dinner party and then we can obviously open up these presents um hey your open presents oh oh okay never mind <laughs> I was so confused um what is she doing oh no 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 yeah, I didn't know we had to work today. You're not you're not going to work today, honey. You've got so much to do. So we're going to come over here and we are going to um, cook a grand meal, I guess. And we're going to have, um, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I think it's technically a dinner party, but I mean, it's still morning time. So maybe let's not cook yet. Wow, look at all the leaves. But, so this is the girl's room. Um. She obviously doesn't have much yet, but that's why we're having the baby shower. We we're hopefully going to get some gifts. Um, I don't know. I don't see <laughs> the baby being very girly once she grows up, even though her room is very pink. Because, you know, Stevie herself is not very girly. I'm excited, 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 excited to see what she looks like. I need baby name suggestions. Suggest I can't talk. Suggestions. <laughs> so, please leave me your baby name suggestions. Sug oh, my God. Why can't I talk? Suggestions down below. Um... I don't know. I, I feel like it'd be like something unique. Give me a unique name. You gotta think Stevie. Maybe like a unisex name because her name's unisex. I don't know. I feel like she liked to carry that trend on. So yeah. Um, I mean, you don't have to. You can give me whatever suggestion you want. I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, I guess what I'm gonna do is kind of lollygag around with her for a little bit. And then once it's time for the party, or a little bit more close to prep time, we'll pick back up. All right, so it's almost time for the party, and we are not prepared at all. I think we're going to cook. She doesn't really know how to cook much, but I guess we can have, like, a garden salad. Um, or maybe we should serve. Wait, what is going on? Serve lunch. Okay, I don't know what is happening. Garden salad. Um, and then everybody should be arriving shortly. <laughs> I almost invited Sophia. How awkward would that have been? <laughs> I think Carter would have been pissed. But, you know, Stevie does know what happened. So, of course, you know, she talked to Wyatt. And Wyatt was like, I know you and, you know, Sophia are friends. Maybe Sophia can send you a gift or drop it off before or after. But, um, you know, our boy's a little bit a little bit tender still tender on his heart so let's not do that who started these weenies out here and didn't finish them that's gross oh my gosh all right our first guest has arrived and it is a oh no of course they're gonna have a name that i can't pronounce what is her name iman el cori el cori i don't ask <laughs> I don't know who she is, but apparently she's Stevie's friend, so that's cool. All right, so, oh, it's Clara. I freaking love her. So let's come over here and um, thank her for coming. And there's Carter. Looks like he's in a little bit of a better mood. And, of course, we need to, uh, um, 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 let's see, we need to, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know where that option went. Crap. Okay. Things have not been as awkward between these two as she had thought and as Wyatt had thought. Um, just because Clara does have kind of like a boyfriend now. So I think that kind of eases Stevie's nerves a little bit about them too. Um, she's also friends with Philippe. So Philippe is here. So it's just a big group of friends. She doesn't have much family. But I guess we probably need to come over here and have uh, our baby daddy. <laughs> um maybe like fill our belly or something like that why not where is that option to fill the belly oh yeah invite to fill baby and give him like a romantic kiss i wonder i mean i was gonna say i wonder if since they do have such a high romantic attraction to each other i wonder if clara would like get irritated like mad seeing them <laughs> who knows but you know what, we're just going to roll with it. She's shut and there's nothing serious going on between them. And then, of course, we need to come over here and thank Carter for coming. And 
oh, we need to brighten his day and just ask, you know, are you all right? And he's like, you know, it sucks. Honestly, Stevie, it sucks big time, but you know, it's going to be all right. Um, you know, there's, there's better things out there for me. I think, hope, I'm hoping, I'm trying to stay positive. Uh, so, I mean, we're going to need to find a new lady for a man. I mean, we, we need to give him some time to move on, but I definitely want him to have a family because he deserves it. He's such a sweetheart. So, Stevie might be scheming, seeing if she can, you know, set him up with somebody. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, while everybody's hanging out, we can open presents with... I guess we can open them with Wyatt since he is the dad. I guess we can do it that way. Um, I'm so thankful, so happy that these presents here are different swatches. So it's not just, oh, she did not like that. Oh, hold up. Who would give One Future Cube by Paltry Predictions as a gift? Stevie isn't particularly happy about this. Okay, well, she must have them pregnancy hormones because, really, that, that your kid might like the little future cube or whatever it was. I mean, I mean, she just can't be pleased. I hope she's not a diva. Oh, my gosh, she's going to be like mommy from hell. Let's see what Wyatt gets. Yeah, okay, so Wyatt's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, um, so let's just have them. Oh, is that all they... Okay, well, I guess that's everything. <laughs> um, replace with a prank gift. Okay, so I guess we have, like, a big mess that we're going to have to clean up, but let's just pretend that we got lots of stuff for the nursery, and we'll go ahead and decorate that. Decorate, decorate that. Decorate that later. Um, let's give him a massage, even though he should be the one giving us a massage. Let's just love up on him, maybe ask him if he wants to spend the night with us tonight, and kind of just... Have a little bit of alone with time with these two because, you know, the baby will be coming in a few days. And they don't live with each other. And they did agree that they wanted to take things slow with their relationship. They don't want to, you know, force things and force a relationship just because of their circumstance. You know, they have a baby on the way. They want to make sure it's right before they do, you know, anything big, make any huge commitment. So we'll just have her clean up a little bit. Um... Oh my gosh, I would die if freaking Clara decided she wanted to, like, flirt with him right in front of Stevie. Because, you know, I'm not controlling her. I can't control what she does. But it looks like the Spice Festival is in town. Click on any of the dynamic signs around the town to find out more. Um, we can do that. We can go to the Spice Festival once the party's over. Yeah, we can have a little date with Wyatt and Stevie. Um, kind of just get her out of the house and, you know, walking around. Alright, so we're going to have Stevie ask Clara about Scott. And she's like, so you and Scott, he's been coming around. That's awesome. And she's like, yeah, I mean, he's a really, really good guy. And I really like him. So are things going good with you and Wyatt? You know, I know he's really excited about being a dad. And she's like, yeah, I couldn't ask for, you know, a better baby daddy. <laughs> it sounds so classy. Um, but yeah, she's like, I oh, know. I mean, I'm blessed. It definitely wasn't something that we was both expecting, but you know, he's been so great. Just kind of rolling with the punches and you know, he's a trooper. He really is. He's awesome. She's like, well, I really am happy for you too. But you know, deep down Claire, you know, she's gutted about it. You know, she's just putting on a fake smile and they did agree. Her and Wyatt did agree they were going to see where things go with Stevie and Scott before they, you know, make any big decisions on their relationship as well. Uh, he's got a baby on the way. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this party uh, probably now after we have her grab a serpent of this salad. Um, I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. <laughs> I just... it's. I want Claire and Wyatt to be together. I really do. But, you know, I just, I think that they need to, they need to see where things go with their other significant others or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's just the right thing to do. They don't want to, you know, make any big decisions based on their feelings. And huh, he kind of pissed her off in the last part too, in case y'all missed it. Um, just kind of instating or insinuating I can't I don't even know what I'm trying to say I love how I try to use big words and I don't even know what they mean but he's trying to kind of trying to insinuate 
that, um, you know, things change, you know, and maybe their feelings could change, so let's not make any rash decisions, and, you know, Clara, they haven't had a conversation since, this is kind of the first time they've seen each other since that conversation, they haven't really talked much, we'll have to catch up with them later, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this party, we're going to have, um, we're probably going to ask him to stay the night, but not right now, we're going to have these two go to the Spice Festival, and kind of have a little day, I think it'll be really fun. And, of course, it is pouring down freaking rain. Go figure. Ah, <sighs> this sucks. It's happy hour at the karaoke bar. Everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. So, I mean, I guess they could come over here and hang out the over here. I mean, why not? Since it's raining. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. Is there a way to, like, cheat the weather? How do you do this? I haven't looked that up. Can you do it in MC Command Center weather? Um, I'm not really sure. Probably not. Um, I wanted to enjoy the Spice Festival, though, but, um, you know, whatever. It is what it is. She wants to be friendly with Wyatt and sample some food. Well, I'd love for you to do all those things, girl, but, I mean, it's, we got some heavy rain, so I really doubt you're going to be doing any of that. So, I guess y'all are just going to have to have a little cute karaoke date. So, let's come over here and sing a duet. Let's sing a country. Oh, we can't even sing with him? Why? That is so annoying. Uh, okay, you know what? Fine. We'll come over here to the bar, even though I'm not supposed to be drinking. And, um, can we, like, sit here together? I mean, I don't know. I guess we maybe can just sit here and talk. I mean, I just, I hate how the weather, I mean, it's, it's realistic, though. The weather just ruins your plans. She's so freaking cute with her little belly, though. But, yeah, um, she. I think they just kind of maybe just need to have a little chat. And she's going to ask him if he wants to stay the night. So let's ask him, you know, you just want to go ahead and stay the night tonight and help me, you know, get the nursery ready. And he's like, yeah, sleepover sounds great. Um, so, I mean, I guess we can just ask him, you know, are you getting nervous yet? No, it's almost, it's almost baby day. And he's like, no, I mean, I'm not nervous at all. You know, we were going to be great parents, you know. I'm excited, you know, I've always wanted a child, and definitely not how I planned it to happen, but I couldn't ask, for, you know, a better, a better woman to have a child with, to bring my child into the world, and, you know, I mean, he does, he cares about her, and I feel like that I don't really stress that enough, because of his feelings for Claire that are so obvious, but I want y'all to know that he really does care about Stevie. They've been friends for a long time since college, so, I mean, more than anything, they're just best friends, you know, and decided that they would give it a go, ended up getting pregnant, and it's like he's booing her. <laughs> he's just, like, picking with her. They're so cute, but yeah, like I said, they're best friends, so I think that even if Oh, their co-parenting or whatever you want to call it, their relationship ends up failing and they realize they're better off as friends, they'll still be great parents to the baby because of their friendship. I don't think anything could hinder that friendship. Um, fingers crossed, nothing dramatic happens. <laughs> and I'm not sitting here lying to y'all. I really, really hope that they can uh, get through anything that comes their way because they do have a baby to consider but who knows they may work out in the end we'll have to see but oh I'm not controlling him I'm controlling her um I guess I could probably like add him to the family for now and kind of like hang out with him too while we're here um so can we do that add to family yeah can we have him sing a duet ballad I mean why isn't it an option to Saying with whoever we're with. That is so freaking annoying. Um, is Stevie going to use the restroom? No. No, Stevie, you can't be drinking. Girl. Um, it's still raining, but I wonder... What can we do? What can we do? I want to come out of here, but I don't want to hang out in the rain because that's not realistic. I know it's The Sims. But y'all know me. I'm just... I'm all about that realism here. <laughs> oh, all right, well, he's going to sing him a little duet, and I think we're probably just going to go ahead and go back home since it is getting late, and I think Stevie's a little bit tired, and their date didn't go as planned. At least they did get to spend a little bit of time with each other and, um, you know, talk. And, yeah, I mean, they don't spend much time with each other. You know, they don't live with each other, so, you know, they're busy at work. They don't really work the same schedule. 
Um, so, I don't know. I think it's good since they're not living with each other for the baby for them just to spend some alone time, you know, have some romantic time before the baby's born. But, yeah, let's go back home. Maybe do a little bit of woohoo. All right, so Stevie is hungry again. I love how it's it was freezing by pure snowing in San Machino and then you get back to Oasis Springs and it's warm and they're walking around in their you know what do you call it winter wear but you know what while we're here we'll just pretend we're gonna decorate this nursery together and we're gonna pretend that it's Wyatt and our girl doing it but you know it's really me and you you know <laughs> so I mean what can we do let's let's just go with that why not <laughs> um let's go to the baby stuff let's get her one of these things I like to put these over the cribs that's real cute and then let's give her um I don't know, maybe a cat. That's girly, right? That's cute. We'll put it right there. Um, so, we got some toys, right? But I want to, I always like to put, alright, let's, let's make a makeshift little changing table here. I like to do this too. So, we can put this here because it kind of matches and it's kind of like kitty looking. So, we'll do that. Alright, here's a little trick, y'all, if you want to make a baby changing thing, which you know, it's not realistic because you can't use it. It's not functional, but it's just for looks, and I really, really like it. So go to comfort, go here to the little extra stuff, miscellaneous, and, you know, pick whichever one you want. But I'm going to choose this one, um, or maybe this one. Yeah, we're going to choose this one. We're going to size it down, and then we're going to move it up. and kind of position it right here see so it looks like a little changing station how freaking cute i really hope that they make babies more functional i know that it was a topic um you know uh i know it has been discussed um nothing has been confirmed yet though but i don't know i think it'd be really really cool if that is something that we was to see um, in The Sims 4 because I didn't know this, but apparently the babies aren't even Sims. They're technically, uh, objects, <laughs> which is really sad, but whatever. I mean, I guess they kind of are. We're gonna, I always, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but I always size down the dollhouses because I just feel like they're way too big. I mean, honestly, real quick, let me just, example. I mean, I know there's huge Barbie doll houses. I used to have one, but it's huge, right? I mean, it's just too big. So, I like to size them down and make them more functional for, like, barbie size stuff, you know? Um, I mean, it works. It's not, you know, perfect, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know. I guess that's really it. I guess we can put some, like, decorations up. That's cute. No, it doesn't even really match. That's not cute. I take that back. Let's go to decorations. Um, let's see. Maybe, like, put some baby shoes right here. Oh, no, 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 no. I know. Oh, we can put... Well, I mean, I, we could put it here, but we're going to have to, of course, do all this. There we go. Um, let's see. Let's go to not activities and skills. Let's go to decorations. Um, and I want to do, like, the hanging on the wall. Where's the little, it kind of looks like initials. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, this right here. I think that is so freaking cute for a nursery. Um, I like that swatch. That looks nice. Oh, we have some pictures over here already. Let's just change this to pink to match a little bit better. Cute. All right, you know what? We're just going to call that a nursery. That's a wrap. We're going to pretend Wyatt put all that together while she gets eaten because that's just the gentleman that he is. And he's going to come use the restroom. And then, I mean, I guess we can probably, like, do a little woohoo um, with Stevie. 
But yeah, so for those of you who missed it in the, oh my god, what the hell you got on, girl? Oh my god, I'm not okay with this. I've got to clean out my CC, y'all. It's, uh, I got some, like, nightmare sims walking around. Um, I'm pretty sure you can change this, though. You can go to MC Dresser, and we can, uh, change outfit. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming it's just her hair. Okay, it must be her hair that's glitched. There's nothing that I can do for you, honey. I'm just gonna have to send you away. <laughs> can we, like, ask just leave sim commands? Um, where is that just leave? Sim leave. Yeah, honey, just just go home. Give it a break. <laughs> oh, but for those of you who missed it, no, you're not gonna go to sleep. No. No, Wyatt, wake up. In the last part, lots of things happened. Uh... Basically, we know, those of us who watched it, that Sophia rejected Carter's proposal. And it had everybody kind of on edge. Nobody was expecting that to happen. Um, and Wyatt and Claire was kind of having like a moment, kind of talking about it. Like, just, I can't believe that happened. And Wyatt kind of made the comment, um, or insinuated, you know, I never in a million years thought that would happen either. But that just goes to show you that anything can happen. You know, um, maybe we should learn from that, you know. And Claire was just like, you serious? Like, are you really, like, insinuating that my feelings for you is just going to change like that? And uh, she just kind of walked away. She's kind of upset about it. And they haven't really spoken since. Um, but he did tell her he was going to try with Stevie. And I think that the closer it gets to the baby being here, and especially when the baby is born, I think his heart is going to... <sighs> His head is going to be with Stevie, but I think his heart is going to be with Clara because, oh, I just, there's something there with Clara that, that, that it's just not there with Stevie. And he, he's just going to have to listen to his head for now, and hopefully, I'm, I'm like all up in their business, so let me give them some privacy. <laughs> um, hopefully, you know, I, I don't know. I don't want to say that just because you you like somebody, that means, you know, if you feel like they're the one or you're in love with somebody, that's who you're going to be with forever. Because you can be in love with more than one person in your lifetime. That's definitely something that's possible. Um, but I don't know. I mean, like he said, things can change. And, you know, his, his heart and his feelings may change. And the same with Claire. You know, she hasn't really given... Um, Scott and Honest Chance, they're so fresh and new in their relationship that she's got a lot to, uh, to figure out herself. Oh my gosh, a neighborhood brawl? Fighting? About starting fights with their stems. Okay, who created this? Where did this... I did not create this holiday, y'all. But I think I'm going to lock my doors and stay in, in, inside. I'm, I'm not about that life. But let's have her come over here and clean up. And I believe... Is she in her third trimester? Okay, yes. Yeah, she is in her third trimester. So tomorrow she should be giving birth. Which is which is perfect timing. I timed that perfectly. So tomorrow is baby day. Um. So yeah, we're going to serve some breakfast we're gonna serve some scrambled eggs and bacon sure why not um i don't know does he work today no i don't think neither one of them do actually she does work at 10 a.m um let's have him go ahead and get up and uh take a shower he'll probably stay the night with her for um the next few nights since the baby is coming home and he kind of wants to be around to help her out <sighs> i see them I, I do see them moving in with each other in the future like the near future because I just don't think Wyatt's going to be able to stay away from his little girl. <laughs> um, and it's just, it'd be a lot harder doing like the shared custody thing and just like bouncing her back and forth when, you know, they are in a relationship. It's not like they're not in a relationship. So, I mean, I don't know. He's, he's been low key looking for houses and, you know, different places to live. Um, you know, not that Stevie's place isn't, you know, good enough. It definitely is. We may stay here. I don't know. Um, but he's considering, you know, he does have to move out eventually. He can't stay, you know, with Carter and Clara forever. Uh, maybe if he got away from Clara. And his head is probably thinking, I'm so confused. Maybe if I just, like, took a step back and wasn't around Clara all the time, I would, you know, be a little bit more clear and see things clearer. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to see. It's taking him forever to take a shower, though. Jesus. But, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Um... 
And yeah, I think in the next part, we'll have a baby. It's going to be baby day. I'm so freaking excited. So make sure y'all leave me the baby name suggestions. I need them. Drop them down below. Um, try to leave me something unisex or like unique. I don't know. I just feel like Stevie would would go off that trend. Um, not Nothing real girly or anything like that. I don't really see her. Even though the room's pink. You know what? Whatever. It's pink. It's a baby. It's going to be pink. But I don't think the girl's going to be girly at all. I think she, you know, who knows? I don't... I don't know. I just don't think Stevie would have her super girly. You know, she'd kind of be a little bit alternative like her mom. But I don't know. We'll see how her personality develops. But anyways, y'all, leave me baby name suggestions down below. You know, what, what, the, 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 y'all, I'm like, I've been recording so much. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I'm all over the place. But, oh my God, I'm getting so tangled over my words. Whew, and like I'm out of breath. That's that's awful. But anyways, anything that y'all want to see or any suggestions, leave them down below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank y'all for watching. I will talk to y'all later.